Preamble of is the master agreement. In, in the previous video, we have learned about the outline of is the master agreement. In this video, we are learning about the preamble section or the part of the is the master agreement. Here you can see the extract from the first page of 2002 is the master agreement. I'm also going to discuss couple of things about the preamble in the first page of is the first one is the document drafted date second the parties or the party names then I would go to preamble part of the draft as I have said in my previous videos is the master agreement is a pre-printed form and nothing can be changed or altered if parties want to alter the terms, they can do this by electing the terms in the schedule. The only information that can be inserted in the master agreement is the agreement date in the first page and the name of the parties in the first and the last page of the agreement. The last page of 2002 agreement would be 28th page and in 1992 agreement it would be 18th page. Now let us First understand about drafted date. As you can see it is written as date dated as of. What does this imply? There can be transactions before the signing of the master agreement. So the so this is expressed as dated as of rather than dated. Even though this looks against the best practices as we date an agreement on the day it is signed. As per English law, you cannot create a contract by backdating it. It may lead to forgery. To avoid this confusion, this is also clarified in the last page of the agreement where the execution is done. You can see here in the 28th page of the 2002 master agreement. Now after drafting the master agreement in the top, we enter the names of the parties. There are two parties and throughout the agreement both the parties would be referred as party A and party B. There are, there are no further details of the parties entered here as they are more elaborately done in the schedule like including the company incorporated number and its jurisdiction. This would be explained when we would be learning about the ISDA schedule. There may be instances where transactions are performed before entering into the master agreement. The confirmation usually refers to the intention of the master agreement intended to execute. Here in the scenario, the master agreement is deemed to be in existence without schedule. The basic Elect essential elections are enough to suffice the master agreement to function as a governing and legal document. The elections may be minimal like choice of law and the termination currency. In this video we have understood the aspects of dating the ISDA master agreement and entering the party details. In the next video we will continue to understand the preamble in the master agreement. Please send your feedbacks to derivatives.documentation at gmail.com. Do subscribe to receive updates from the channel Derivatives Documentation. Please do like and share the video if you found the content useful. Thank you.